Award-winning freelance journalist and war correspondent Michael Hastings died early Tuesday in Los Angeles. He was 33 years old. He was killed in a car accident in Hollywood, California. His car crossed the media, slammed into a tree, and burst into flames. Hastings' story about McChrystal in June 2010 revealed the military's criticisms of the Obama administration. That profile, the runaway general, was published in a 2010 issue of Rolling Stone, ultimately bringing an abrupt end to the career of former General Stanley McChrystal. He had General McChrystal talking about President Obama, Vice President Biden, essentially mocking them, and it cost General McChrystal his job. Hastings defended his story in an interview on CNN, saying he didn't expect it to lead to the general's resignation. I went out to try to tell the best story that I could, and I have really no control over, over you know, the after effects. You're a journalist. You're there to tell, you're there to tell it like it is. Hastings was also well known for tracking down and getting an exclusive interview with WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, and that too was published in Rolling Stone. He was the author of two books, one detailing his war coverage entitled The Operators, the wild and terrifying inside story of America's war in Afghanistan, and another about the death of his fiance, I Lost My Love in Baghdad, a modern war story. She was killed by a car bomb in Iraq while serving as an aide. But Hastings' career wasn't limited to covering war zones. He became a reporter for BuzzFeed in 2010 after working for Newsweek for six years. In Gawker, where he used the pseudonym K. Eric Walters to write about Anderson Cooper's real estate issues and Donald Trump's advice for Lower Manhattan. In a statement, BuzzFeed remembered Hastings calling him a great, fearless journalist with an incredible instinct and a gift for finding ways to make his readers care about anything he covered. Hastings is survived by his wife, Elise. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.